And with the potential of severe weather moving through mid-Michigan, Consumers Energy says it's taken steps to keep the lights on. Today, consumers announced plans to install more than 100 devices that help prevent power outages and improve electric reliability for customers. TV5's James Felton finds out how they work and what kind of difference they could make. This ATR work really is part of a commitment. We are trying to limit the number and duration of power outages across the state when bad weather comes through. Consumers Energy spokesperson Brian Wheeler talking about automatic transfer reclosers or ATRs. On a day like this, when many of us are wondering if the power will stay on, Wheeler says ATRs will offer more assurance. So if you have uh, a power outage in one spot on a circuit, on a power line, that can affect hundreds of customers, when you can put ATRs, these pieces of technology in place, it limits the number of people. Essentially, it's a red light or a green light that can stop the flow of electricity or stop the effect of an outage so that fewer people experience lights going out. Wheeler tells us Consumers Energy already has nearly 470 of these 800-pound devices on the electric system. 123 more are scheduled to be added this year. The Consumers Energy 2023 ATR deployment plan will target areas that have been most impacted by outages over the past several years. That's going to include work in the Flint area as well, so people will be seeing us and our crews out there doing the work right now that improves reliability to our customers. Wheeler says this is part of Consumers Energy's overall electric reliability plan. We're spending $5 billion over five years to really reduce the number of power outages. That's going to include tree trimming, ATRs, and a whole lot more. Like burying power lines in some cases. James Felton, WNEM, TB5. The majority of the 2023 ATRs are expected to be installed and online this summer.